So to start using PowerPoint to uh, create a quiz, or actually PowerPoint to do any kind of uh, presentation, uh, the first thing you want to sort out is to get the look and feel of it uh, correct and that's even before you start adding slides here and the quickest and easiest way to do that is basically to use master slide so um, um, the example I'm going to use throughout this series of videos is to do a, a quiz on um, internet protocol v6 day so um, I'm just going to show you how to set up all the slides so they have the same color and text so let's just go to view here and under view we're just going to go to slide master okay so at any time if you want to get out of this view you just go to close slide master but to get there we just say view slide master and here we are and this is where we set what we want all of our slides to look like so I'm going to apply it to the top slide first and the very first thing I'm going to do is make sure that a logo appears right at the top here so um, that's very straightforward you just insert it like you would anything else so it's just a picture um, for me it's on my desktop so I'm just going to scroll down and get the IPv6 logo um, so let's just make that fit nicely into the corner of that page uh, over here and what that does if I now uh, close slide master for example so if I just go to close master view then every time I do a new slide uh, that logo will appear on every single slide okay which is great so that's one reason why we're going to use a um, uh, the slide master and the other one is to basically format our font uh, and colors there as well so we don't ever do it on a particular slide and it just makes makes us more productive so again let's just go to view and uh, slide master and one of the other things with PowerPoint so I'm gonna again I'm gonna apply this to the top level slide so it applies to everything else is um, one one thing that is quite good to do depending on what your screen looks like and where the PowerPoint is going to view is to actually look at uh, your page setup and decide whether having a slightly uh, greater width will work for your presentation okay and that's that's very easy to do just here under page setup and sometimes that works really well with uh, things like um, uh, quizzes and you know where you need to show lots of information side by side uh, so again we can also apply a background here so we can again and this is going to depend very much on the um, uh, what your presentation is about and what kind of colors you want to get so my colors are really going to come from this logo so it's going to be greens and a, a dark black like this and the other thing that we can do just here for example if I just highlight all of this text I can then right click on it and I can then decide what color I actually want that text to be so instead of having a red color I can actually choose a, a green color and you know I'll take some time making sure it matches that and basically when I close master view what happens is every time I type in here it's just going to be that particular format so I'm just going to format my slide master a little bit more because I'm not happy with this kind of gray here and I'll uh, come back and show you what the results look like so one of the other things that I've uh, done which will make things easier for you is because this presentation is uh, basically going to be a quiz then um, I've picked a kind of blank looking slide with a title on the top because every slide is going to have um, for me anyway it's going to have the question at the top and then some multiple choice ones for them to click on and that's the easiest way to set up a presentation so I've picked up one of these slides and moved it sort of you know down uh, just above the very top slide and I can actually right click and rename this layout and in this particular uh, example I've called this the question slide because this is the layout I'm going to use for all of my uh, question slides uh, and that's very straightforward to apply and it's just got a, a hyperlink at the bottom and it's got the color coming up in green 
and then all of the answers are going to go uh, just be listed here so it's it's kind of multiple choice so if I now close the slide master um, and let's say this is my IP quiz then if I want to insert a new slide for my very first question let's say then I just pick question slide and it comes up automatically with the first question that I'd like to ask is uh, you know what does IP stand for okay so that's uh, that's the very first question that I'm going to ask here uh, so uh, and, and that's the best way to use slide master okay so once you've got the formatting done then obviously you need to put in each question on a separate slide so the way this quiz is going to look is there's going to be I don't know five questions uh, but probably for your um, controlled assessment brief you'll need to have um, you know a good quantity of, of questions to ask uh, for your specific audience and the other thing to note in your slide master again so if I just say view uh, slide master is I've also gone in and edited the text here so rather than just keeping the normal text I've gone in and changed it to Arial only because then that matches very clearly with the logo that I've got and the look and feel I want for the whole of my presentation. So that's how to use Slide Master and in the next one I'll show you how to uh, build up your questions. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how to uh, set up your questions um, and the answers on this particular slide.